Is your hair standing on end? Mel's is. Uh, we, we just got into the conversation about Toronto ghost stories. What, what peaked that off? What peaked off the, the ghost stories? Why did we talk? Oh, the Bank of Montreal. Yeah. We say there's a ghost that, uh, that plies the halls of the old Bank of Montreal, which is now the Hockey Hall of Fame at Young in front. So uh, we, we named a couple of other places. Mm -hmm. And so Winston has quickly done My his research for us online. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually current, uh, courtesy of Toronto.com. They have a lot of uh, really cool uh, local mm -hmm, events yeah. and, and, and lists of different things that you can do in the city, things that you might not check out uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And they have a, a list that they just put up in, back in October of 2014, haunted places in Toronto. So last Halloween, I guess, they were trying to yeah. gear people up. So I pulled it up. Uh, I, I can read through some of it. I pulled it up on my phone so it's easier to read. Some of them include University College. Yes, that's the one I was talking about, University College. There was some sort of fight or something. Yeah, uh, uh, U of T campus's most famous ghost, a Russian yes. stone mason named Ivan Reznikov, may still wander the halls here, mm -hmm. so th they're haunted. Uh, one that we were talking about in the newsroom, uh, the Keg Mansion on Jarvis. That's what somebody else Wellesley. mentioned. Wellesley. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people uh, think that that's haunted. Trinity College, U of T as well. So quite a few locations within U of T. Uh, other locations, the, the Queen's Park, the Ontario Legislature. Really? People say is haunted. Uh, By who? Does it say anything about who that might be? At least four resident spooks and no wonder. The grounds were home to an insane asylum back in the mid-19th century. Oh. So uh, the ROM, Royal Ontario Museum. Just a few of the locations. See? And then just down the street, the Algin and Winter Garden Theatres. Really? Mm -hmm. ah, so you'd all right. be surprised. Keep that in mind, Mel. Keep that in mind. Jordy is going... What? I, I don't know if that was Ambrose Small. <laughs> Send us your tweets. If you have uh, What's any... What's your favorite Toronto ghost story? Exactly. Tweet us at BT Toronto. We'll share some of them later. All right. Thank you very much, Winston. Uh, let's go and check on traffic upstairs. Here's Russ.